वंदे गुरुपदंदम भक्त समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद 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 वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदा ृदेवी सत्वत्त नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चुनौतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण पथोपदेश गौरी पत्रो प्रकाश ने सदाथ गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचन तम शरण्यम पुनदान भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरण यदपालवन कचंदम निक्षटाय विस्फुरीजीतुरोदर्श पूर्णागर सुसागर सागर मूर्ति साराधि कामी कदा कृपा श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्रीअदगलाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 आजित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरु कमलाशाबरो दिजभरो जुगधर्मपाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम नमा गंगे तव पादपंकज सुरासुरैरवंदूप मुक्ति मुक्ति चीनीम भावान्ेन सदा गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाहु भाग नारायण प्रियमनंग मदापहारम वाराणसी पुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीर्जस्च वक्षसी यस्ती संवी ऋषिमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 दम भागवत नाम जन्मे भगवतोदित 
संग्रहो अयम विभूति नम तमिता दिव्यपुलि कुरु यथा हरो भगवती निनाम भक्ति भविष्यति सर्वात्मनि अखिल धारित संकल्पो वर्णयो इदम् भागवतम् नाम जन्मे भगवतो दितम् संग्रहो अयम् विभूति नम तमिता दिव्यपुलि कुरु यथा हरो भगवती निनाम भक्ति भविष्यति सर्वात्मन्याखिल धारित संकल्पो वर्णयो गौरीय गोष्टीपति गौरीय गोष्टीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट दैट बाय द एसोसिएशन ऑफ डिवोटीज ओनली टू गेट डिवोशन इज एक्चुअली पॉसिबल हाउ यू कैन गेट डिवोशन इन योर लाइफ प्योर डिवोशन that bhakti is that topmost treasure how you can get devotion that bhakti vinod thakur that bhakti siddhan saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramahansa jagat guru told this point to us that by the actual association of devotees only we can get the actual devotion inside our heart apart from this no other pathway is open in front of us at all that it means that even Krishna Prem we can get out of that. That in association of devotees that uh, that is the actual uh, proof of Shastras. There is no other pathway open for us at all. No other pathway is open at all. That Krishna Prapti that is the actually the final goal and final target of all the jivas. That is the topmost mangal one jiva can get in his life to get Krishna Prem. By very topmost luck, very topmost and good luck that only it is possible. That very much good luck, topmost luck you are having then only you can get. That just by go hovering here and there in this kind of vasana, what you are having to go inside Brahman, even you have that smell of kamana vasana and desire of that what Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Path, Sri Man Siksha, that he has just uh, uh, tried to give us that how you have to instruct your mind and heart, that you have to instruct in such a way that your mind just like... Uh, just like a dog, pet dog, it will just behave like that. It will not go uh, on his own way. That in Bhagavad Bhajan, he will be just uh, uh, helping us in that. So that's why it is written here. Just uh, that kind of desire to just go from even smell of uh, desire is there to just go in this Brahmand, just to taste whatever is there in this Brahmand. Some taste, smell of taste is there about that inside our heart then it will become very much uh, heavy for me because definitely I have to come back again into this Brahman again I have to come in this material world in this material Brahman that's why the Prabhupada used to speak in this context that that kind of desire that all kind of uh, Kamana Vasana different desires of this material world when actually it is completely destroyed only the Jiva it is possible for that jiva, particular jiva, he can get the actual devotion towards Bhagwan. Only then he can see Bhagwan. Just by the Guru Anugraha, that the actual dharma of Atma, that is Atma Dharma, that it can get manifested inside the heart of that particular jiva. That Atma Dharma, that for each and every jiva, it is just uh, that he has that potency inside his heart, that Atma of that Atma Dharma inside his heart. Why? Because each and every Jiva, that he is the actual Ansh of Bhagwan. I have already told you by the Kripa of Bhagwan, I have already given this uh, detailed description about that. That's why actually it is written. Not like that it is spoken. Why? Because... Devote, that devotion is only getting uh, established by devotees only. That okay, dasatya is there. Servant bhav is definitely there. That inside the swarup of the jiva, that definitely the servant mood is there. 
that if the servant is getting away from the master for some reason but the actual by just getting scattered that kind of servantship towards my master it will not at all get destroyed no that by father from his father his son is getting scattered a lot of years back before but that kind of relationship is there with his father definitely that father son relationship definitely is there so okay he has got uh, scattered uh, for some years materially with one other they are getting scattered but uh, definitely that relationship will there will be there it will not get destroyed so that's why it is spoken that kind of desire of the brahman if it is still there inside the heart then the jeevas definitely gonna come back into this material platform that only then only he can get bhakti if that topmost kamna vasna of this material world will get destroyed that by the anugrah of sat guru just to take the anugrah of that pure sat guru just to take the anugrah of sat guru on the basis of that on the basis of sat guru how much anugrah you will be getting of that sat guru that on the basis of that that atma dharma will get manifested that jeevas that kind of bhakti seed they are getting that sat guru just by getting the anugrah by the power of anugrah of the sat guru that so much anugrah and what cat- percentage you will getting that uh, anugrah of your guru dev only then then that on the power of that anugrah that atma dharma to get manifested inside the heart of jeevas they are getting that bhakti seed inside their heart what is that bhakti seed that bhakti seed means that uh, when some mahapurush that that when some jeeva is coming in front of some jeevatma is coming in front of that mahapurush bhagavad bhakt that kind of topmost treasure what they are having that kind of uh, devotion that serving mood of just by seeing that the jeevas inside their heart some kind of uh, reaction is getting produced like corona is there that tb is there different kind of diseases are there which are uh, communicable diseases that one kind of reaction or communication they are actually getting inside their heart it means that inside there that seva mood is also getting sprouted that kind of bhav in fine form what is coming that is actually called seed that is actually called the bhakti seed that is actually called bhakti seed and inside that that some kind of reaction had got sprouted that bhakti seed is getting sprouted inside his his heart after that that inside his heart that uh, that seed of bhakti is getting in sprouted inside his heart just by seeing a pure pure vaishnav like you can see a dry wood or whether any wood you can take or especially in a dry wood there is fire element there that sun god they are just by taking that fire element from the sun god they are just getting it hidden inside them so but automatically that even that one kind of dry wood she he cannot uh, immediately himself cannot show that kind of fire element you understand the point like one matches is there that one stick of matches is there and if you put it on fire and what kind of uh, surface of there the matches is there that by friction only that fire is getting uh, ignited without friction there is no uh, no pathway that that uh, fire element will get ignited but still fire element is there but in the same manner that in that dry wood that fire element that potency is there inside that to get ignited in the similar way that kind of bhakti potency is there in the jeevas definitely it is there but that that kind of uh, manthan is very much important you have to do in the 11th canto bhagwan shri krishna how he is actually speaking to uddhav ji maharaj regarding this that example i am actually giving it to you that same example uh, bhagwan is speaking to uddhav in 11th canto in the 11th canto bhagwan also is speaking to uddhav ji maharaj regarding this आचार्यर अरणी आद्य अंते वाउशी उत्तर अरणी इसका व्याख्या कल अबाउट दिस आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इट टुमारो इन डिटेल्स व्हाटएवर बी द केस दैट बाय द अनुग्रह ऑफ गुरुदेव ओनली 
that atma dharma will get manifested inside your heart and just by get manifestation that jeevas getting that bhakti seed inside their heart that by the krip of guru dev by the krip of krishna krip is not different from each other that what is guru krip that is actually krishna krip that what is guru krip that is same krishna krip as well there is no difference between that at all that directly we cannot get krip from guru dev directly we can get krip from guru dev it is not different from the krishna krip we cannot get directly from krishna only by guru dev only we can get the uh, krishna kripa because krishna kripa and guru kripa are non different and guru guru kripa prasad means that in fine form by that kind of topmost anand he is feeling and he is giving it to in return to us that prasad just by his hearing that we have to eat something that definitely he will take something he will eat something by this word prasadam just by hearing this it means that you have to eat something <laughs> but prasadam in fine form actually it is coming that prasad means kripa the prabhupa speaking that uh, prasad means that in prakrit in fine form that uh, with full anand what is actually given to someone that is actually called prasad that anugrah that's why gorangadev mahaprabhu actually speaking that i have already told you just to become bhrit and to do the service of devotees just to do it bhrit and to do the service of bhagwan that is actually called bhakti just to disconnect it from this material world and to do bhakti of bhagwan that is actually called bhakti bhakti what is that thing that is just for the satisfaction of bhagwan what do you mean by bhakti bhakti means that the topmost serving object it is targeted towards that topmost service serving object just to get his satisfaction all time all the time you are just satisfying him and whatever kind of own satisfaction you are not at all thinking at all your own satisfaction whatever kind of uh, 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 efforts you are putting that thing is not at all bhakti at all that just for your own satisfaction for your own sensual satisfaction whatever kind of steps you are making or efforts you are making that is not at all bhakti at all that kind of prabhu seva it is not related with krishna seva at all that with guru dev from guru dev that kind of bhakti lata seed you are getting that bhakti seed you are getting from your guru dev that bhakti seed you are getting from your guru dev and just like a gardener that under the anugatya of guru dev guru vishnu of that kind of seed inside your heart because in geeta already this uh, your heart actually is compared with the field where cultivation can be done it is compared with the sea uh, with a with the field that two conception are there in geeta khetra and khetragya you understand the point what i am speaking khetra means that this your heart is actually compared with the field and in this cultivation of that uh, seed that in order to just pour one seed inside this field of heart that just by that you can see with baldav ji maharaj that kind of flow uh, you can see by baldav ji maharaj by that gurudev is uh, just taking his flow that who are actually doing this association he is doing the cultivation of that bhakti seed inside them He, he is actually cultivating the bhakti seed inside their heart and they are making become more and more fertile and powerful and becoming him uh, reliable that is just but done by baldav ji maharaj who is guru tatva himself just like a gardener we inside our heart this bhakti seed we just need to uh, f- that shravan kirtan etc that by that water of shravan kirtan we have to just uh, sprout that out and the jeevatma is actually compared with a gardener like a gardener who is actually that just making all the kind of uh, arrangements to just save his uh, uh, plants and shrubs and so that any kind of dangerous uh, situation should not arise 
then only he is actually moving forward only afterwards he can get some kind of uh, fruits or some grains out of that maybe uh, when moving forward just by protecting the plants and from all the four directions that um, cattle bheda cows cattle can just uh, destroy that and some other elephant or some that they should not destroy the field so he has to give all kind of protection from each and every direction it means that one kind of fencing and some fencing or barrier should be given like a protection it's very much important to give that so that to get the uh, get the actual seed from your gurudev and just by guru krip guru de guru tatva only in order to just protect that by shravan kirtan you just need to water that bhakti seed and have to protect it from all the four directions and with your own anugatya you have to be and himself he just need to put it in some anugatya that water of anugatya he just need to put that himself that kind of sun by the krip of the sun god you just need to move forward and that i am the servant and my only dharm is to just to serve bhagwan guru vishnu of that kind of vichar to get pratishtit in that that is the actual conception of gardener the prabhupad speaking who is actually gardener this is actually that i am the servant and my dharm is to serve bhagwan and by this vichar just to get pratishtit in that that is the actual conception of the gardener that whatever kind of uh, that darshanik vichar of gardener this is the actual vichar what i am speaking that bhakti lata seed that uh, which we have got from gurudev already from gurudev that ahaituki topmost by ahaituki kripa that krishna bhagwan himself he is coming in front of us as gurudev and he has just selected us and do, done kripa on us you understand that bhakti lata beej that that what we have got from gurudev already which by the ahatu ki kripa by ahatu ki kripa we are actually getting from bhagwan shri krishna uh, in the form of uh, gurudev he is coming in front of us that same seed just by getting that i am i am actually eligible to do krishna seva and i don't want to do any kind of maya seva at all no wish is there but only i want to do krishna seva by do krishna seva i don't have any will to do maya seva at all only krishna seva i want to do this is actual target of my life that is the actual target of my life that that is with full uh, faith and with topmost uh, target if you cannot finalize your target like this then he is becoming so much distressed and sorrowful and he is just thinking of the uh, maya seva then definitely all amangal you can see in all the four directions that's it that who will be you how you will be finding faults whom to blame who will be finding faults in that nobody is at fault only i am at fault that bonded jeeva he is actually tatastha in nature he is neutral everything he can do he has that uh, independence that kind of independence uh, bhagwan has given to him if he actually is uh, finding it in the right way then he can get the actual uh, success in his life and if he is just uh, uh, and if he is actually using it in a opposite way then it uh, he is actually responsible for that his own uh, condition for that that's why bhagwan shri krishna is speaking in gita ha bhagwan bataya bhagwan speaking that bhagwan shri krishna speaking that vibhu nadat ka sajit papam no che sukritim vibhu tumara sukriti that your sukriti duskriti pav sinful and good this is not the headache of bhagwan at all bhagwan is not at all speaking to anyone that you have to do this bad work or this good work that according to your previous karma whatever kind of uh, directly indirectly what you are getting it from my eyes all done by bhagwan what you are getting it from the previous karma directly indirectly everything is done by bhagwan but bhagwan is not at all taking that uh, directly that according to the karma fall whatever you are getting now according to that condition that sanskar will be just putting is uh, uh, us in that that sanskar will just drive us he'll give us acceleration so that's why bhagwan is not at all directly involved in it but still indirectly by maya he is getting involved 
बट श्री गुरु बाई द एक्चुअल कृपा ऑफ श्री गुरु पाद पद्म दैट भजन वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ बैरियर्स इन द भजन इट विल जस्ट गेट कट ऑफ कंप्लीटली इट फ्रॉम आर पैथवे ऑफ एक्चुअल प्योर डिवोशन दैट वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ इम्पेडीमेंट्स इन द वे ऑफ भजन जस्ट बाई गेटिंग इट अवे वॉट विल हैपन देन ओनली वी विल गेट गेटिंग द एक्चुअल एडवांटेज इन आर भजन अदरवाइज वी विल वी जस्ट गोइंग इन टू दिस चक्र ऑफ माया एंड श्री गुरु फ्रॉम इज लोटस माउथ that kind of uh, transcendental uh, nature of the transcendental world we have to just uh, do the hearing shravan of that transcendental world topics of transcendental world from here and there this kind of uh, topics if you will be hearing the prabhu not at all speaking from shri guru dev's lotus mouth only and from the lotus mouth of shri sadhu guru vaishnav pure guru vaishnav that kind of top most uh, shravan is possible of this uh, transcendental world then only it is possible that sadhu according to the instruction of gurudev if someone someone wants to become sadhu then according to the instructions given by pure guru vaishnav and sadguru that they are doing part kirtan that will also come in the uh, vishay of uh, shravan only that shri guru pad padma maybe slightly maybe slightly very slightly he is actually deviating getting deviated one drop he is getting deviated from shri guru pad padma if slightly one drop is getting deviated from shri guru pad padma's pathway then by that what will happen that infinite problems of this material world will just gonna put me in that in the ocean of material miseries and shravan kirtan that is just one water for us and it definitely we have to use it just for uh, the germination process of our bhakti seed because we have taken the shelter of shri guru pad padma and that actual sharanagat devotee who just wants to become an actual sadhu vishramba means that intimacy that with full intimacy all the time he has to do the seva of shri guru pad padma that is the actual target and dharma of an ashrit devotee that sadhu guru just to do their association that is the actual duty and bhakti lata that bhakti seed we just need to that bhakti seed we just need to if some if that bhakti seed that if some opposite can be done of that bhakti seed that bhakti seed can get destroyed that bhakti seed if something opposite that sprout which is just coming and is getting elevated slowly steadily that definitely you need some that creeper what is actually getting growing day by day that creeper it needs some support that creeper because you understand the point like you can see the plant of uh, ghee kaddu like loki that kind of plant is there no the different these are actually they want some kind of support external there is some kind of support one supporting if support is not at all there then it will just go in and here and there it they, uh, the roots will go so bhakti lata is you have to give some support in order to grow up that uh, bhakti seed without the actual support it will not at all go up what is that support that is the actual kripa of guru vaishnav that is our actual support you understand the point that in our shastra what it shastras what it is written in the shastras it is written what it is nayam atma balahinena lakya na ayam atma that those who are actually without any power that atma vastu that in order to get that atma vastu is not at all possible it means that those who are without power that absolute object they cannot attain at all that balahin means that just by taking fish and meat i am giving strength to my body this is the actual misconception of this material world what to do is one person mad person came to me some motor person is there from some shop he came and he is actually coming to me and he is just a, just a titled brahman he is chakravarti and just like foolish he is speaking that maharaj it's already written nayam atma bolena bach jaiye 
that you need strength that's why that xy mission they are speaking you just take lot of fish and meat and by that you will just increase your strength only then you can go forward and just otherwise you will become very weak <laughs> so this is the actual foolish conception what to speak this which are is this only that what i'm speaking they don't have this idea that na it means that stra- that chit bal the top of transcendental world not like uh, that asura asuras and rakshas what they are getting this power of this uh, blood uh, blood and flesh stool and urine this kind of uh, asuric strength or uh, rajasic or tamasic strength that is uh, more you are giving them they will be feeling more and more power but that is actually the strength of maya this is not at all transcendental but they cannot understand this point all these rakshas that chidmal is like the actual ball of power of atma that uh, this body is of two days only this body is just of two days this is just one matter this body is of prakriti this is not at all ours that i am not this body no i am this atma that this is of prakriti this all five elements of this prakriti so i don't have any relationship with that at all but definitely it is actually just the that whatever kind of opposite karma i am doing so i am actually just getting this uh, uh, result of that so what is my actual relationship with this body nothing is there it is just because of my previous sanskar and karma i am actually getting that that i have already to speaking uh, of shila jeev ko swami pad atmanam trigunatmakam paro upi manuti anartham tat kichan chavi paddhati e sab pata this already i have told you So then, it means this shloka that it, what does it mean? That this, this is like asuric strength. I am not at all speaking at all. A chid bal, that transcendental bal you have to give. That atma bal. That is the actual strength. which is actual strength of atma when guru vishnu bhagwan that by the kripa we are actually increasing our bhajan that atma is becoming more powerful inside that kind of strength in front of that that all those material people are just putting their head down you understand the point that kind of atma strength i am speaking strength of atma so pure guru vishnu just to do their association that is their actual duty and just to do the association of maya that is not at all essential at all it is not at all good that bhakti seed with very carefully we just need to move it forward that bhakti seed we have to care with full attention we have to fully carefully we have to protect that about bhakti seed we have to protect that completely very careful and conscious we should be because slight slight uh, uh, deviation then definitely that bhakti seed can get destroyed slightest uh, uh, slightest uh, fault is there in on our side then it will get destroyed in like in shri chaitanya jay tamrit it is written aparad jodi uthe hati mata samjha you understand the point jodi vishnab aparad uthe bangla mein likha in bengali it is written jodi vishnab aparad uthe hati mahati mata jodi If you are actually doing Vaishnava Parad, then it is just like a mad elephant, just like a mad elephant who can destroy everything. He don't at all thinking that he can do anything. That that's why in Chaitanya Chaitamrita it is written that like a mad elephant, he is actually just destroying everything. it means that just like a mad elephant he will just come and all it will just destroy everything everything total destructive destructive uh, destruction he will do and after that nothing can stay at all that this lata this creeper that bhakti lata it is just getting dried up and just getting dry dry day by day it is just getting destroyed from its roots completely it what will happen it will just get dried up and will get destroyed completely and that's why this bhakti lata beej bhakti seed just when it is getting inside that shravan kirtan you are just to germinate that 
and after that this bhakti creeper slowly steadily it will just get sprouted and that it will get into the uh, growth stage and after that slowly steadily when it is going ahead and uh, under the anugatya of guru kripa that that actual support he is getting uh, shoot up that same creeper is getting shoot up and after that when you are going ahead this same bhakti seed that in this brahmand that last at the last place of brahmalok after that it is going ahead of that it is going towards viraja and ahead of viraja it's going again and after getting brahmalok he is getting towards viraja and from there viraja river river viraja after that going ahead viraja means do you know viraja what it is viraja what does it mean that river viraja means that vigat raja means that uh, maybe at last some kind of very smell of uh, material mater- some very last some smell of material contamination is there that is in uh, vigat raja everything is getting uh, absorbed and uh, getting uh, cleansed in viraja river it is just cleansed in viraja river and after that getting out of viraja river you are getting more and more up ahead and you can go up to that vaikunth lok that first that it will go to brahma lok that brahma jyoti after that impersonalist uh, impersonalist feature of bhagwan it will go towards vaikunth lok more ahead and more ahead if you will go if you wants to go ahead more then if you don't want to go from vaikunth lok okay he has got to vaikunth lok because golok dham there is one general name of golok also there is one general name of golok that is common name of uh, general name of uh, or common name of uh, golok vaikunth means there is when there is actually no kuntha at all here in this material world that mother father relationship that uh, with the child what kind of mother and father and brother father relationship you can find everything this kind of relationship you are finding that kind of relationship that kind of friendship what you are finding here that what you are all actually is contaminated with material bhav under under some and certain circumstances under some and certain restrictions it is they are bound bonded that with full exchange of bhav it is not at all possible in this material world at all it looks like that that my heart is actually cleansed up totally that my heart is totally cleared that i it but it is not at all cleansed totally some hesitation definitely must be there maybe that some that wife actually is loving husband a lot and husband is also loving her wife but some hesitation definitely will be there without hesitation in this material world this relationship is not at all possible in this material relationship is not at all possible without hesitation that's why pro the propad actually used to speak in this context that uh, in this material world that in this material world that now uh, the manti that kind of relationship of them or you can see the relationship of jim dela that kind of lovable relationship of dim jim dela or lela majnu that kind of a relationship lovable relationship that according to your material standard that is top most that all kind of material relationship what we can find in this material world that kind of material relationship just by example only that kind of lela majnu is relationship or jim dela lovable relationship or you can see now the manti that relationship is getting compared why because according to material standard this is the highest this is the highest of all but the propad speaking in context to this that in this material world above that material relationship nothing is there but if the person can understand it if a person can understand it just by fault he is thinking that this is the maximum uh, limit up till that nothing is there that actually it is at he is at fault that the actual uh, lovable relationship you can see in vaikunth that the actual love you can see of pure guru vaishnav where there is no lust no kama nothing is there 
all the for each and every year they are finding that prema that inside the heart of pure guru vishnu that kind of prema is there i have already seen that one girl she has taken birth and guru dev actually speaking you just uh, brought he, brought her to me and he is actually that same girl actually uh, guru dev actually was there on the bed and uh, guru dev giving him that hari krishna maha mantra so much love is there guru dev is having pure guru vishnu is having for the jeevas it is out of our range so vaikunta means that we got the kunt there there is no hesitation at all where there is no kind of barrier or stoppability where all the time your your uh, uh, gate is already open there is no kind of uh, opposite things are there at all but if your luck is very good because our luck is very bad because in vaikunt jagat what kind of prema is there what we will do by that i don't know what is vaikunt jagat so that's why that's why we are thinking that we don't have any kind of actual proof regarding that directly direct proof we cannot see at all and mat- the person is also material and uh, the material persons are just wants material uh, example only maybe the other shacharan of pure guru vaishnav they have seen it completely that kind of top most adarshan acharan that absolute adarsha of pure guru vaishnav we have already seen but the seeing that also they are not at all accepting that why because they don't have actually confidence on pure guru vaishnav that's why so whatever be the case here ragunath das goswami pad that very chit manas shiksha that first number shloka the first number shloka this i have already started each and every word each and every word that uh, complete realization should be there guru means but what is the actual thing that guru that which guru we have to accept and at all we need guru dev or not if guru dev is not at all what kind of disadvantage we can get all these things we just need to understand and realize and from previous last weeks i am actually discussing it and now that shloka which i have already started with today that about that i will be just putting one kind of bhagavatam nam janme hi bhagavato ditam sangraho ayam vibhuti nam tamita advipuli guru yatha haru स्पीकिंग टू हिज सन नारद जी दैट ओ सन दिस भगवत तत्व ज्ञान वॉट आई एम एक्चुअली गिविंग यू नाउ आई एम एक्चुअली गोइंग टू गिव इट टू यू आई एम स्पीकिंग टू इट टू यू नाउ दिस इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल थिंग एट ऑल दिस इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल थिंग दिस इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल थिंग एट ऑल दिस इज जस्ट वॉट भगवान हिमसेल्फ हैज गिवन इट टू मी that he himself has given it to me you understand already i have told in the form of chatushloki bhagavatam that bhagwan has given it to brahma ji पश्चादहम यदि तच्च जोगसिष्यते सोऽस्मि अहं रिते अर्थं यत्तदीत न प्रतीय तुचात्मनि तत्पिद्वा आत्मानमयं यथा भासु यथा आत्मा यथा महान्ति भूतानि भूतेषु उच्चावचिषु नु प्रविष्टन्नु प्रविष्टानि तथा तेषु न तेषु एता वदेव जिज्ञासं तत्तु जिज्ञासुनात्तनः अन्नय व्यतिरिकाभ्याम यत्सत् सर्वोत्तु सर्वदा संग्रहोपय 
that whatever kind of bhagavat tattva vigyan and instructions on bhagavat dharma i have given you that is actually called that only by bhagwan this actually is given that bhagwan has given this to me and what is that that whatever in uh, very unique and very uh, topmost leela of bhagwan that whatever the infinite and uh, very topmost amazing and surprising leela of bhagwan that the leela that kind of vibhuti that kind of topmost uh, amazing and surprising vibhuti of bhagwan that is that is actually in, in it is the collected form all is in collected form it is there in bhagavad dharma that you what you can do it means that you can increase it you can more and more increase it day by day like one tree like a tree you have seen that uh, uh, but a but a vriksh that the fruit of the but a vriksh that may be the tree having some fruit it is so much fine fruit is there that inside that fruit there is some seed is there that seed is so much fine that you cannot see it with your naked eye that uh, that seed in the fruit that according to his uh, anukul uh, condition that if he is getting some air some sunlight some water that then some kind of sprout is coming out of that seed and after that what will happen that it is just go on increasing and increasing and at last that what bricks that uh, people tree that may be 3000 4000 years like 2500 year, years age it is just making its root spread it everywhere and if you are going to the namishetra namisharanya there in namisharanya namishetra you can see if you go to namisharanya namishetra that at the at the black close bank of gomti river there if you will go if you go to the namishetra there you can see near gomti river that their manu maharaj and satya rupa that both of them has done swear austerities and penances i have already gone there maybe 25 years back there very long year at that i was actually nothing no penniless baba i am wherever by the krip of bhagwan i used to stay and by the krip of gurudev i used to stay that kind of tirth atan now i i don't have this desire also to just go to the tirth and that tirath atan i used to do so here actually you can see go there in namishetra that one people tree cut a bricks that what is the where is the original source from where that butterbricks has grown here the government also has made as a botanical garden as a protected area in shivpur calcutta near ganga river there you can also see there i actually used to go in the childhood maybe 50 years before or 60 years before i have went there in that botanical garden near shivpur in calcutta there that actual original uh, seed you cannot find it looks like oh where is the root actual cause actual root origination root so it's like this so when that the seed is getting sprouted from that seed that that top most uh, tree is getting uh, it is becoming then you, can you get the trace of the seed original seed no you can't get it at all because now it has become a big tree out of that very fine seed so that's why brahma ji in the form of this seed that brahma ji that chatushloki bhagavatam that 18000 shlokas of shrimad bhagavatam that 18000 shlokas of shrimad bhagavatam that actual mool is chatushloki bhagavat that whatever 18000 shlokas you are finding that it's all there in these four shlokas in chatushloki bhagavatam and this chatushloki bhagavatam himself bhagwan is speaking to brahma ji maharaj he has given that to brahma ji maharaj and brahma ji also that same bhagavat tattva vigyan he has just uh, passed it on to narad ji maharaj
You do one thing that you inside your heart you just uh, this Chatusloki Bhagavata what I told you just be carefully uh, you make this vichar you can see the, that topmost very very big Vipulikru means Vipulikru means that this that in a very uh, magnanimous form it will get uh, manifested in front of you magnanimous form Vishal means that with full bhakti mood with the full bhakti mood that it just you just need to give it backing so that you have to make it so um, make it an analytically magnanimous in nature so because everything is there in the seed form all concept vipuli group doesn't mean that from where everything you will be just collecting and putting all garbage no not like that people who grew means that in very fine form that you have to collect the bhakti devi by the actual effect of bhakti devi that this chatu shloki inside what kind of bhav is actually there in order to expand that bhava secret bhava it means that just to take the support of bhakti slowly steadily everything will come out out of that this you just need to expand it and now you have to do this like this that you are doing the work of Guru that Brahmaji Brahmaji he is giving one uh, 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 one instruction to him very cautious that you be careful that you are now actually doing the work of a Guru you are not at all doing any cheating at all What actually has been told by Brahmaji Maharaj, you have to speak like this, what I am telling you, that in this material world, whatever kind of people, all jivas are there just for their absolute mangal, you just need to speak like that, You with kapat bhav, don't uh, speak uh, all opposite to them, from what is actually original is, you just need to uh, speak like that only. What actually spoken here? Very nicely. That you just you take this sankalp and just go ahead, my son. You had just take this sankalp and go ahead, my son. With this sankalp, what is that sankalp? Like with all the people in front of them, you can speak. That so that ke, they can get bhakti inside their heart. What actually been written? That infinity Brahmand, uh, that Bhagavan is the actual Adhar, is the actual original source, all transcendental material, whatever you can see that of that infinity Brahman, the actual source, original source is Bhagavan and is the cause of all causes. That this kind of determination or sankalp, just determine like this and go ahead, my son, just for preaching you are going, no. That is actually that is the actual role of Guru. The actual work of Guru is just to speak that absolute truth. But nobody wants to hear absolute truth, what to do. Nobody wants to hear at all. But the Prabhupada actually all the time repeatedly he is speaking that we are actually we cannot speak we are actually coming here to speak that absolute truth in front of you. That without any kapat bhav and without any alterations and in intact way that from our heart of our Guru work we have to speak Harikatha. That is actually we have to speak. That all those uh, just to give uh, just to give enjoyment to other people if we are just speaking Harikatha then it will not become the actual point of Bhakti. 
it will become one kind of prostitution to see the Prabhupada used to speak this that to do the satisfaction of Krishna to get the satisfaction of Krishna just to make efforts for that and just to give satisfaction to normal people is not the same it is all different it is not it looks like it is same externally but it's not the same so that's why in the market that katha what we are actually finding that the persons they are actually feeling very enjoyment in that just by hearing that oh so nice actually it is i can just some get some enjoyment also with the hari katha and uh, i will give some donation as well there so like this that uh, my heart also will get full of enjoyment and at the same time maharaj ji will speak very sweet words to me and uh, he is giving respect to the whole sampradaya as well but there is actually no conception of shuddh bhakti at all there so that's why he is getting this name at, in, in name and fame and position in this world that anand this anand so much anand market of anand actually is coming vivek anand is getting that prem anand is getting everything anand all four directions market of anand came why because that is the actual that is their actual market here that in the market what they are actually buying they are actually buying this only but they will not buy the actual thing no samanay vaad means in political field reconciliation is there educational field reconciliation is there sports field also reconciliation is there and bhajan field is more reconciliation is there you see in political field also there like like the whole government just by the to- uh, 100% vote is coming then it's good if it is not at all coming by 100% uh, votes then that collision uh, that atat means they will be getting a joint venture with some other party that joint venture this kind of uh, vishay in this joint venture with the other party what will happen just definitely make sure about this point that first good points you need to uh, leave and uh, bad you have to take away and with 100% votes if the government is coming then it's okay that what in our sampradaya that those who are honest that all they will be just making how they have to just run their country ahead and move forward this is a different purpose but uh, if they cannot do that then joint venture will be there so in the same way that society will be just getting joint venture with some other society they will be speaking some good uh, points to the other society they will be giving some aarti some pushpanjali to others why because they will get uh, some material anand that kind of market of anand will come no that vivek anand will come that prem anand will come so uh, all the four directions anand is there but they don't have that actual news exact news they don't know about the exact news that where that actual anand is there actual nectar is there they are actually just taking material anand that's it that what they are actually this is called material nectar from up till what point you will go with this up till what point you will go with this you tell me that actual anand which is there that you don't know at all that actually is just hidden about that i have already told you in vrindavan about this that in one sammel and i just told that when that uh, very gold golden pot and plate that in very hidden uh, form it is there uh, that for normal person their normal person don't have that access to get that uh, hidden and secret uh, atma tatva yamraj ji maharaj is just giving uh, this instruction to his uh, yamdoot to his servants that you know what is this bhagavad dharma ha eh? you know what is bhagavad dharma yamraj ji maharaj speaking to yamdoot that you see this bhagavad dharma everyone don't know about that that nobody knows about that at all everyone don't know about this bhagavad dharma that's why yamraj ji maharaj actually speaking What actually spoken by Yamraji Maharaj? You tell me. Guyam, Guyam means 
that so much secret it is so much secret it is secrets of the secrets is bhagavad dharma is that it is pure apart from this nothing pure is there than bhagavad dharma durvodhyam that intricate in order to understand normally and to just get pravisht inside it's not at all possible because maya devi has so much effect so much effect the maya devi is having that from all the four directions one ball deluding ball is there that with bhagwan that jivas that relationship in between that that with bhagwan the jivas having that relationship in between that that natural relationship was there of jivas with bhagwan with bhagwan what the jivas are having their natural relationship about swabhavik means natural means gurudev used to speak about natural relationship that that in chaitanya chaitamrit one shloka he used to speak gurudev there gurudev actually used to speak on that point in bengali it is you can understand i think that for brajavasis that uh, the attraction towards krishna all those brajavasis it's natural it is not at all artificial at all there is no nothing artificiality is there in that that's why it is written this how i there is no reason for that in this material world that all our relationship what in this material world this is all greediness in this material world whatever kind of relationship we are getting this is in this material world whatever kind of relationship we are finding this is all related to greediness this is all just very bad smelling greediness on the basis of that it is actually getting uh, based up on greediness material greediness the relationship is not like that where there is no smell of greediness is there at all which is very bad smelling greediness material greediness it is full of that only in this material world whatever kind of relationship you can find but in this uh, transcendental world that with bhagwan that jeevas what kind of relationship is there that in the transcendental world that when jeev is getting men uh, getting uh, stable in that okay now actually he is in maya but still in this uh, bonded condition where jagadanand pandit also has uh, written regarding this in prem vivart at pisachi when some uh, is is getting uh, he is actually caughting uh, he is catching up some uh, person the actual natural behavior of that person is getting get just getting opposite when some ghost is catching some person that all the parshad of gorang mahaprabhu jagadanand pandit ji what example he has given that uh, that is a top most example what jagadanand pandit has given the example what kind of example jagadanand pandit has given us in order to, so that we can understand this just be careful on this point jai shri la jagadanand pandit ji that who is the eternal parshad of gorang mahaprabhu is a very eternal associate of mahaprabhu what kind of example he has just uh, uh, spoken in front of us that he actually is giving us this understanding this is the topmost uh, example he is giving us there is no example more topmost than this that's why he is speaking very so nicely he is speaking like a ghost actually just uh, catching someone so normal behavior and uh, of that person is getting opposite totally changed that all those mayavad bonded jeevas the same uh, actually they are uh, having that kind of uh, behavior that is a topmost fixed example stable example that i have 
given so much example i have already seen so much example regarding this that 10 persons are just uh, very very difficult to catch that uh, ghost oh my god very difficult to catch that even 10 persons are very less to catch that ghost that all those maya bonded material bonded jeevas but the actual point is that bhagwan and our relationship there is no kind of curtain at all no curtain should be there between us and bhagwan that's why actually it is written in from the 10th canto from 87th chapter you just be careful what i'm speaking this what actually we have told that are all the muni rishis just uh, with bhagwan in front of bhagwan he is uh, they are actually praying in front of bhagwan that oh bhagwan your aja that your uh, aja that just like a ass and cattle you just need to take it away from you please do kripa because we cannot see your lotus feet at all and pure guru vaishnav about them there is no kind of uh, stoppage at all that for pure guru vaishnav about them that about pure guru vaishnav about pure guru vaishnav it's already written in the shastras that for them that to get the lotus feet of bhagwan that bhagwat charan darshan is not at all no kind of disturbance is there in them why in their darshan why because they are actually free from the touch of maya even maya can't touch them also that maya devi that even they can the maya devi can't touch one hair of that pure guru vaishnav so this is the case so that's why it is like straight darshan so nothing nishkapat bhav is there all the time inside them but all those each and every person apart from pure guru vaishnav that definitely one curtain is of maya is definitely there one or the other way so that's why gurudev that from guru parampara that what mantra we have got in that gurudev you all all the time used to speak the rigved mantra you understand the point when i'm speaking and that one akshar brahm mantra i don't want to speak at all this to speak openly is not at all good in the shastra it is strictly prohibited to speak but nobody wants to hear what to do for them what we can do it is totally restricted in the shastras that gayatri mantra not to speak openly at all that in the shastra it is strictly prohibited to speak gayatri mantra openly is not at all is not at all good you understand the point and uh, if one one akshar brahm mantra that openly you just don't need to speak openly at all that shudra women they, they don't have this eligibility to speak this mantra at all this is not the rules and regulation written in the shastra but now what is what to do in mic actually it is going on <laughs> i am actually laughing or in vrindavan it is going on where in mic it is going on gayatri mantra is doing are this is actually one kind of song but yes it is a song but it is of transcendental world some uh, woman actually is just uh, speaking gayatri mantra so very surprising this world is there Fu- that full colorful world that whole world is changed and the man then the persons are also changing according to the world so before this when we have just came this is the actual uh, mantra of the rigved ek akshar brahm mantra is also uh, prohibited to speak about this i'll be just uh, manifesting some thing regarding this tad vishnu means what is that tad that which is the topmost sad vastu the topmost transcendental object that that what is that sad 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 vastu that which is all the time onto the lotus feet of krishna which is all the time uh, present uh, transcendently permanently nitya nitya means to transcendently permanently present that tad vastu is actually sad vastu and sad vastu is the actually lotus feet of bhagwan surayo means that it is uh, two meanings are there that about the demigods that suri 
that suri from suri it coming surayo but here if you are actually thinking that all those demigods of heaven it is will be opposite meaning here surayo means that surayo this word actually being used by that it is indicated that is not at all indicating about that uh, have uh, dem, dem, heaven uh, demigods have heaven of demigods because they are actually that kind of uh, rajogun is also there up, uh, in mixture with satogun all those demigods of heaven they are having that rajogun in mixture with satogun that with the topmost vishuddha satogun is not at all there in them and in vishuddha satva uh, they are not at all established at all that demigods of heaven about shankar bhagwan that a kind of prayojan is not at all there because shankar bhagwan is uh, to- topmost vishnu he is actually just taking an external apron just externally he is actually showing this uh, tamagun he is the actual presiding deity of tamagun but inside his heart that he is the topmost vishnu topmost vishnu of the shambhu is this already been told so shankar bhagwan actually is uh, not in tamagun at all and whatever kind of other demigods are there they are having some contamination of rajogun but they don't have vishud satogun at all like shankar bhagwan so surayo means in general conception of surayo means that all those demigods about them actually that general conception of demigods it's taken but surayo means that the visuri the visuri it is actually getting in means surayo here means the actual meaning of surya means divya suri here surya is actual meaning is divya suri what who who are divya suri that who can see past present and future and they those who have that realization of shastra inside their heart and who have that topmost feeling and lovable affection for bhagwan all the time they are actually surya divya suri they are actually it means that pure guru vishnu those who are that inside them no maya is there at all nothing is there at all and the besuri this all this the besuri means that past present and future that he has the realization of shastras and topmost realization of the shastra is having that for infinity brahmand is actually just seeing in relationship with bhagwan that is actually divya suri whatever he is thinking about the actual mangal of this whole material world so you divi go chakshura tatha chakshu ko unmilan kar yeah just by having this eyesight fixed eyesight fixed continuously on to the lotus feet of bhagwan just by opening his eyes completely on to the lotus feet of bhagwan you understand the point what i'm speaking that topmost uh, eyes that uh, transcendental eyes is getting open divya means dipti dipti means that one kind of light light means that the actual light of uh, knowledge transcendental knowledge you understand the point so tatvishnu that topmost transcendental eyes that he can get that transcendental eyes and all those divya suri gun those who are all the time seeing the lotus feet of bhagwan without any interruption they are seeing that that they are doing darshan of uh, bhagwan all the time why because in darshan also if some interruption is there then that darshan is not at all transcendental in nature if some if some pure sadhu some kind of uh, barrier is there in the darshan continuous darshan sometimes he is getting darshan for 2 hours and after that again then by doing japa again that kind of curtain of maya is again actually going on in his mind so like this he is not at all considered as mahajan he is not at all considered as mahapurush the actual darshan of mahapurush he is actually mahapurush why you can speak in mahapurush only that those who have no kind of Uh, there is continuation of darshan all the time that his darshan is uninterrupted that whose uh, uh, darshan is continued 
and with the lotus feet of bhagwan all the time his connection is there every time even fraction of second that all the time continuously his connection is there with bhagwan that with us that kind of darshan with bhagwan there is no interruption should be there at all but it is not at all possible for us why because continuation of bhagavad dharma darshan if it is not at all there then definitely nothing will happen at all so raghunath das goswami pad this man shiksha that first shloka here already raghunath das goswami pad has just given us an indication just by indicating us why what that what guru that you have taken nishtha to the lotus feet of a guru dev that is what that is actually brijavasi guru that brijavasu guru if that raganuga bhajan he will he is giving the here actually indication of raganuga bhajan is given दीक्षा गुरु शिक्षा गुरु एंड वॉट इज एक्चुअल डेफिनेशन ऑफ गुरु वॉट इज एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ गुरु वॉट इज एक्चुअल भाव ऑफ गुरु एवरीथिंग यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड Otherwise, you will speak that Raghunath Swami has told us. Then you will just be taking the ashri of a kapat guru, fallen guru. Then that's why it is very much essential and necessary that Bhagwan Sri Krishna, what he is speaking to Dev Ji Maharaj. This I will be just discussing you by the grip of Bhagwan in front of you. and kipa sindhu shishankurno sarva satto pukara kaha nisprihyo sarvatah siddhyo sarva vidya visharatah sarvo sanshayo sanchitta anano sampurna iska bhi thoda clarification this some clarification also should be there regarding this otherwise where you will be there that whatever kind of life actually is going on for you that whatever kind of life oh is there he just need to quit or leave that it is not at all good this actually deep prabhupad speaking the prabhupad speaking always used to say that we we i will not be taking shelter of that guru i will be just taking i will be, i am actually ready to get the atmanivedana to lotus feet of that guru dev who is actually showing me 100% he can give me that absolute mangal in my life i must submit unto a lotus feet of such a guru who can ensure my 100% mangal jo guru nahi kar sakta that guru dev who is not at all giving me mangal that i will not be taking shelter but the more bonded people of this material world they are foolish number 1 they are top most foolish they just by taking uh, the shelter of guru dev that uh, from one tractor to two tractor to three tractor no guru dev that one tractor is there now he is having four tractor for his business so he is actually foolish number one he is just increasing his business that's it with business mood it, it is not at all possible so this is the actual conception of this material world this is the actual bhav of material world you see i am that bhagwan is bhagwan that even to leave and throw him also i am actually ready to do that that bhagwan who is actually bhagwan i am ready to just throw that are my child just got killed oh i will just kick bhagwan who who is bhagwan that i will be taking new bhagwan in my house by my own choice <laughs> he is foolish number 1 like this all people are there but shri vas pandit ji he is speaking to mahaprabhu when mahaprabhu was doing nitya all when when mahaprabhu was dancing and in sankirtan ras when he was dancing his uh, son has just left his body she was one day at that time but he not at all speaking anything in front of mahaprabhu when the wife is actually crying 
Malini Ma, everyone is actually crying that inside the house. Then Shri was actually that Mahaprabhu speaking from where this voice is coming of crying. Then he just saw that his own son has just left his body. And just by seeing that, oh my God, just by speaking shoutly, that he is speaking, she was Pandit speaking that Golok Nath, Golok Pati, he is my, uh, I am his servant. You don't cry at all. Don't cry at all. I am this kind of death. I am actually just praying on to the Lotus Feet of Bhagwan. In my life, this is my only desire that Vakunta Nath is just uh, dancing and my body should, I should leave my body. That is the topmost thing. And you are thinking, you are crying. Are, I am actually believing it rightly. That if someone actually is just leaving body, when Vakunta Nath is actually just uh, uh, doing uh, dancing in my house, that is the topmost luck that he has just left his body. He has got the topmost luck. Just stop crying. If you will uh, not stop crying, then I will just jump into Ganga now, immediately. You understand the point? So, Gurudev, just to become that is a big, just to become unhappy is a very far distant point. He is not at all getting uh, uh, unhappy. And in return, by Prema, that Sri Vaspand is speaking like this. You understand the point? But when Bhagwan, that Bhagwan, we are actually leaving him and throwing him. If our money is getting uh, not, and if my business is getting destroyed, is getting disturbed, and my whole work and assets are getting destroyed, my wife is getting away from me, and my child is getting away from me, then that same Bhagwan, who is Bhagwan, we're going to throw him away. Then only I will speak Jai Jagadish Hare. Understand the point? Then only I can speak it's Jai Jagadish Hare. If I will get wealth, health, my wife, I'll be, then only I will speak Jai Jagadish Hare. Otherwise, why what Jai Jagadish I will speak? Huh? From where he is actually Jagadish? Huh? Like this, this is our actual conception, this is our rules. So that shloka what I am actually speaking, that Guru, that about Guru Tattva, that is the topmost definition of Guru Tattva. That whatever shlokas of Guru Tattva are there, out of that some very selected shlokas, apart from that nothing is more topmost. That is the topmost shlokas, what you can get. You be careful, if our material conception is there about Guru Tattva, just by hearing this there is no use at all. Why? Because Srila Raghunath Das Goswami was speaking the, about Sikha Guru and Dikha Guru. That what is the actual symptom of Diksha Guru and Siksha Guru? How I can understand that? That from one tractor you are getting four tractor. He is my Guru. <laughs> he is Guru, yes. You see, his business is getting elevated. But he can't understand this point. But he can't understand that Gurudev has just put me in blind well by this. In foreign country you are getting married, getting lot of money. <laughs> Why this all things will be done in all prostitution you can do. It's all going on this kind of prostitution. And in the language of the Prabhupada, if I can speak in Bengali, then maybe you can understand it definitely. In the language of Prabhupada, In Bengali it is that he is actually becoming the servant of his disciples and he is giving a mantra to a prostitute. Then definitely be sure about this. This is a, Then be sure about this. He is kapat number one, cheater number one. If he will not cheat me, the Prabhupada speaking, that nowadays it is uh, if, we, if we are not about getting cheated, then we are not at all feeling good. If we are cheating Gurudev and my sense gratification for my, if I am getting some kind of help from Guru work, just for my sense gratification, he will be just helping me, my Gurudev. And whatever money is coming, he will be giving it to his disciple. And then he will be just make use of that money into uh, property, taking property and business. So that is actually Guru. That Divyagan, uh, what I will take by doing Divyagan? Divyagan, what I will do? Nothing is, no use of that. So that is the case. Gurudev, 
that the Gurudev actually is just uh, taking his money towards the disciple and just using it. That just for his own sense gratification. He is actually just uh, getting some help. Okay, I will just take one property in foreign country. You come and I will just take you to foreign country. No worries. But uh, with me, I will not at all take you. Someone can see you know, what I am actually doing. I will be just uh, taking you uh, lonely, individually, there to foreign country. I, here, there, I will be just going to Russia. Huh? You go to Spain, here, there, everything. But don't come with me at all. But if you will go with me, then there is problem. Because everyone will see, no, what I am actually doing. No, you don't come with me at all. Srila Bhakti Vallabhtit Goswami always used to speak strictly that in preaching, don't go alone at all. In preaching, don't go alone at all. Don't go alone. Any time, everything fall down can be done. Everything fall down is already done. Not that it is due, it is done. No guarantee, nobody can do give guarantee. This is actually the proof. Definitely, it will be done. Nothing you can do at all. So much effect of my eyes there. And now in India also it's going like that. That, that Bharat Varsh, that is the actual on the basis of Vedas, who is actually moving. Nowadays also we can see the bad condition. That even you can see child, father, everyone. Everyone is getting openly, they are actually getting uh, humiliated. That everything is getting done. Everyone is getting a lot of money. They want to get wealth, that's it. So Maharaj, you always used to speak that in Switzerland, he just went there. I just forgot where he went there, Maharaj ji. And someone, some yogi or some in some yogi ashram, he just stayed for some time, like one to one and a half hours there. And there what he has seen, what he has seen, that his servant actually speaking to me, that that full cloth is not at all there of uh, that lady. And he is actually just putting his leg on close to Maharaj ji. So, this is the actual condition, what to do. So, here it is very difficult to just uh, get protected. This, our, uh, that, our own uh, India also, you can't uh, uh, protect yourself. No guarantee is there. So much uh, effect of Maya is there, it is increasing day by day. So what is the case of foreign country? So, now Maharaj always used to speak. Strictly prohibited you go to foreign country alone. Your character will, you will get characterless. Definitely, Maharaj used to speak this. So, just that who can do preaching or who with full determination can how the preaching can be done, what is the actual mission and target of uh, preaching that slowly, steadily I have just told you so that you can cannot find any doubt in that. That opposite bhavna, you should not get inside your heart regarding that. Kripa Sindhu, that who is actually Guru? Raghunath Das Goswami was speaking. Okay, it's okay. But this kind of uh, symptom of Guru still is now going on. Kripa Sindhu means that who is the actual ocean of mercy. <laughs> that if someone, if someone, just you are showing some mercy to him, then lot of cases are there, you will get fall down. Practically I can show you that someone actually showing some kind of mercy to someone and still he got fall down in Maya himself. That he himself fall down in Maya. That this, uh, he, you cannot speak him as Patit Pavan Gurudev at all. You cannot speak that particular person as Patit Pavan Gurudev at all. Not at all you can speak like this to them, him. That uh, who is actually going to do the actual de- deliberation of some person. He is actually doing Yashit Sang in the name of money, position, name, fame. Definitely I am going to explain it tomorrow. That normal person they are thinking that just to do association of a woman or and some sannyasa acharya they are taking definitely it is there but still that kind of pratishta yashit that position yashit 
is also there that in order to just uh, throw that away is very much important but the persons are not at all uh, thinking of this at all that any preacher that maybe he is international preacher whosoever he is if uh, for pratishta actually he is coming that also he is actually getting followed down into that that this also it is very much important to put him in the, the gurudev vasan if you will come out then you will just uh, get lost out of the bhagavad dharma if you will just get in fighting with someone then it is your own uh, loss but here it is not the actual uh, question of fighting it is the actual question of uh, survival of your real self that is the actual point here actually it's not the question of your uh, respect but it is the actual thing how to protect yourself from all this but you are speaking all lie that he is actually that maharaj is also sadguru we just prove it no that it's very easy to speak that he this he was speaking goswami to him but you give me that actual uh, proof no that he is goswami to speak it he is goswami it's very easy but to prove that he is goswami according to the shastras then only i can understand that you are speaking it rightly it cannot be done like that no it's not possible like that <laughs> name fame position everything is yashit just just to leave yashit sang our gurudev if he is having yashit sang then definitely you going to leave that gurudev it's already written in the shastras and the rules is like that that uh, again you just need to adopt a new gurudev that's why bhishma pitama our out of the 12 mahajans he is openly speaking in front of us but nobody actually gonna think it rightly at all nobody gonna accept it what to do nobody gonna accept it nobody is going to accept it what to do they are not at all accepting very very difficult where you will go you tell me again and again he is showing it is not the question of in fighting it and it is not the yes it's not the question of your prestige it is the question of your real self protection of your real self he is actually big big sanyasi only you are thinking that he is still fallen but you are thinking him as very big sadguru you are foolish here bisham pitam already speaking that the people are thinking like prakashan and saraswati pad prakashan and saraswati pad ji is mayavadi in varanasi maybe at least that kind of cheating propensity at some at least he has that kind of uh, he is mayavad actually he is just false but still some apparently he is having that kind of truthfulness at least he has that kind of apparent truthfulness and he actually accepted that his own sampradaya <coughs> that according to my sampradayik succession i actually just accepted that and that in chatan and shri chatan mahaprabhu himself accepted then shri chatan mahaprabhu in front of him he has accepted himself that prabhu that what you are speaking that is actually absolute truth but what to do that in our sampradaya that pre- before that shankaracharya ji has just given this kind of instruction that that according to this uh, instruction of adi shankaracharya we have to follow this maybe the, it's already openly fully mahaprabhu actually speaking this all actually wrong he is actually wrong no he is speaking that i am actually wrong <laughs> that even one actually i am proof giving but still thousands of proofs i am giving still he is thinking that no you are wrong so what i can do in that foolish what i have to why what i can speak that infinity proofs i have given to him but that he is mah now you see he is mahabhagwat okay you can think him that mahabhagwat just by your thinking that he is mahabhagwat that if you are thinking that he is a very big mahapurush and mahabhagwat and you are getting bhagwan okay you can take bhagwan it's good no that i am just uh, not at all speaking anything at all he is actually foolish number one he won't understand in if i'll be just giving my energy in 
uh, in front of a foolish person that is just wastage of uh, energy and money as well okay he don't want to get what i can do he can go to hell even go to that uh, burning flame what i can do if he is not at all taking the shastra praman and there is no kind of uh, respect for the actual proofs of shastras then again argument is why uh, like this what i can do i am giving the actual proof of shastra but is not at all accepting it they need uh, name fame and position that's it so if this vichar is there that you are actually thinking he is maha bhagavata acharya then okay then you can just worship him and just bhagwan you can don't do in fighting with me i don't have any uh, uh, time for fighting at all you can go to hell what i can do but pitama bhishma ji just strictly speaking directly to us peesh pitama bhishma speaking openly he is speaking <laughs> that shloka which i have already told you definitely i'm going to speak it tomorrow as well this tomorrow i will be speaking the or because time is very less today and pitama bhishma what he has spoken that guru dev who don't know what to speak and what not to speak and what to do what not to do nobody they actually become mad he has become the guru is actually mad just like a mad elephant he has become mad everything he is he's doing whatever he is speaking he is actually just passing uh, all uh, logical for logical logical arguments that's it and he is speaking that it is good then he is actually speaking okay it's okay then it's okay then why i will just uh, waste my time i actually spoke that a cause of eternity continuously that uh, definitely that is truth in a cause of eternity but that is so much rich by the kripa of bhagwan that uh, that gaurang nitanand prabhu by his actual mercy so much rich siddhant vichar is there maybe who can just uh, live 100 years also still it won't get uh, destroyed at all why this you they just need to accept that they just need to realize that then only they can understand that externally they are taking oh, that let us leave it like this their actual achar is like this that 5 minutes they are hearing and after that they are just removing it they are not at all hearing it fully they are not at all hearing it fully because by hearing it fully that maya devi will go away no if they that's why they won't uh, accept it fully so that's why i told that continuously under the guidance of uh, mahajans and their writings and by the kripa of guru vishnu it is getting inside my heart then everything you just need to manifest that in front of all who can speak who has that this kind of audacity in front of me that i want to see that how much audacity they are having there can go against us if they will go against then they going to die that to, <coughs> they are the whole people whole they, if you are getting bhagwan just by taking him as mahabhagwat but according to the shastra praman they are not at all accepting that that that's why vitama bhishma speaking like this guru if you will leave him and quit him then it is good if you will not leave him then definitely that very dangerous situation will uh, uh, step up that he will get atmanash his consciousness will fall down lot of shlokas are there in shrimad bhagavatam like this not one shloka that again it will be written somewhere he is actually just speaking all rubbish about this shri larib gos jeev goswami pad in sandarbh actually speaking everything about guru vishnu if you are actually disrespecting them definitely they are getting fallen down from their position and after getting fallen down that gurutva of that particular jeevatma is totally destroyed and again that jeev goswami pad according to that sandarbh i have already told him and i have already shown him from jeev goswami pad sandarbh totally topmost praman i have given that proves but still they will not accept it what to do they will not accept it what to do so how i can just give them the clarification let them go to hell what i can do about and after that it is written more proofs are there lot of proofs are there here actually it is written jo bhakti jo bhakti 
अन्य रोहितम अन्य न सुनतियो तो वो ब्रजतोह निरोयम कालम अक्षयम जो पागल कमाने that those who like mad they are actually speaking just on their money power man power they are just like hiranya kashyap every any anything they can speak that whatever actually coming from my mouth actually i am siddh just like foolish they are speaking everything they are speaking they are thinking that it is all true and they are actu- and nowadays they are actually the top most respectful uh, acharyas so called acharyas the prabhupada always used to speak nowadays that the actual sadhu no respect is there for them for him that actual sadhu who is there in this material world no respect is there for him at all so that's why this is the condition what to do nowadays that actual sadhu there is no respect at all maybe some respect is there but it all false respect just cheater fraudster just like this for them only the so called acharya those who are cheater fraudsters those who will be cheating more they will be getting more and more respect in the society those who are more and more kapat that kapat sadhu you can see they are getting more and more respect and i'm getting very surprised one master he always used to come to me and i am actually love him also he is actually speak, asking me that which hari katha actually i have to uh, do it's coming in the tv i am actually smiling that you have heard so much hari katha after this this mind you are getting out of order how it is possible like prabhupad actually just questioned that those people the already left prabhupad then prabhupad not at all feeling bad at all just only is feeling that uh, transcendental soreness that so much anagati kirtan he has done so much kalyan kalpatru kirtan he has done so much hari katha he has heard and after that what is the actual result that they have just left and kicked me you see what kind of kirtan they have done you understand the point so much sarnagati kirtan kalyan kalpatru kirtan they have done they have heard so much hari katha everything is totally waste so much kirtan so much hari katha they have heard and they used to just discuss that and after that that last they have just kicked me and left me that's it and the prabhupada just feeling that transcendental sorrow just this kind of sorrow is there kalos of black i could not protect you isi baat ka aap that is the actual sorrow that's it everything i am actually going to give you but nobody wants to accept what to do but from your side some elevation should be there no from one side it is not at all possible so whatever be the case up till now i will be just giving rest up till now and tomorrow i will be just discussing again on this vichar dhara again just forgive me for that idam bhagavatam nam janme hi bhagavato ditam sangraho ayam vibutinam tamita adhi bole kuru यथा हरु भगवती नेना भक्तिर्भविष्यति सर्वात्मनखिलधारी संकल्पो वर्णयो वाचकोषि के पास सिंधुष अतिथान पापन उपविष्णव्यो यही चर्चा का विश्राम दे क्षमा करे वाचकल्पत्र